50 years old, contributing 9% to work 401k with 6% salary match. This sounds like a text, doesn't it? He's leaving out some (laughs) verbs. Also currently funding Roth IRA. Would I be better served to lower my 401k contribution to say 6% and use that 3% for catch up contributions towards my Roth IRA? Boy, this is a question we get a lot, Alan. It is a, a very uh, interesting question, and and it is really about tax versus time. I understand the percentages you're laying out there. You're currently contributing 9% and get a 6% salary match, so that's good. If you reduced it down to 6 you're still getting the full employer match. We can check that box and move on. So the 3% for catch-up contributions towards the Roth – if you're paying taxes, because that's what would happen, right? Mm-hmm. If you if you no longer contributed the pre-tax money and were taxed on those dollars and then contributed it to your Roth, paying taxes on three percent three percent more income than than current uh, in exchange for tax-free growth over time and tax-free withdrawals in retirement. Now that's a pretty dang good trade-off. Now mm-hmm. Alan is fifty, so this is a no-brainer for young people. Yeah. Uh, it we do probably need to check a couple other boxes as we get closer to retirement. One one other thing, and we've made some assumptions on these being uh, pre tax contributions, um, but we're not a hundred percent sure, Alan, if what you're putting into the the four hundred one k is pre or post tax. If you have the opportunity to contribute Roth dollars, then the tax difference is negated here. But the the question then that I would look at is the diversification question because many times inside of a 401k uh, your your investment choices are going to be limited I'm not saying that they're bad just that there aren't as many of them as you would have in the traditional or Roth IRA world and so that's another possibility to consider is just for the investment choices what you're looking at there Mm -hmm. and you know his tax bracket is where we would kind of land as you get a little older and in your pre-retirement years, you are typically in your highest earnings years, which means you're typically in your highest tax bracket. And generally, the plans that we do for our clients, there's going to be a step down, maybe not in a full bracket, but certainly in income when someone leaves work. They're mm-hmm. not usually going to live on 100% of their current income. Sometimes they do, but not often. Well, and consider when you're, you've been contributing to the 401k. Right. So even if you had you know, the, the same net amount, it's not going to be the same gross amount because of health insurance and 401k contributions, et cetera. Yeah. So just purely from a tax perspective, you would likely save on taxes if you sent them in pre-tax now versus uh, removing them later because you could possibly be in a lower tax bracket. But doing a little math here, if Alan's asking us to move 3% of his income in for catch-up contributions to his Roth IRA, well, the catch-up contribution is only $1,000. So if 3% is $1,000, then you're not likely in a high tax bracket. Uh, and, and if you don't mind paying the taxes now, mm-hmm. I, I think adding mm-hmm. to a Roth is always a good plan, especially if you don't have a lot of Roth dollars. Yeah, Scott, we have seen so much flexibility for our retirees coming from those Roth accounts. Um, A lot of times, if you wind up with excess funds in retirement, we'll kind of set that Roth aside for when something happens. If it is, hey, we need to replace a vehicle or we need to do some repairs or remodeling on the home when we weren't expecting to have to do this, then there's this pool of dollars that when you need $20,000, then it's $20,000 that you take out and $20,000 that you get because it's not taxable for you at that Mm -hmm. point. So it does provide some tremendous opportunities for you in retirement. 